Obesity is when a person becomes over the average weight for their age, usually causes, caused from laziness. Obesity is a great problem. Most people are not noticing the effects of it. It is a growing problem and needs to be dealt with sooner rather than later. If not dealt with, more and more people will be grabbed by this problem. With all the different types of fattening product corporations that just keep getting more and more money from people who cannot turn down the fattening products, just keep getting more and more strong as the money keeps getting reeled in. They have millions of dollars, dollars because they have enough money for advertisements worldwide and coming up with new products. They should use their money towards finding ways to make the products taste the same but be less threatening. It is not like there is just one problem with obesity. There is just obesity, then there is plenty of branches branching out from it like depression, diseases, and suicide. Obesity affects everyone who one day will be out of control. Being obese and being overweight are not exactly the same thing. An obese person has a large amount of extra body fat, not just a few extra pounds. People are obese. People that are obese are very overweight and at risk for having serious health problems in the future. From 1976 to 1980, people that were overweight increased by 46%. People that were obese increased by 14.4%. From 1988 to 1994, people that were overweight increased by 56%. People that were obese increased by 23%. And people that were severely obese increased by 2.9%. From 1999 to 2000, people that were overweight increased by 64.5%. People that were obese increased by 30.5% and people that were severely obese increased by 14.7%, according to the National Center for Health Statistics. From 1960 to 2002, men's average weight went from 166.3 pounds to 191 pounds. Women's weight increased from 140.2 pounds to 164.3 pounds, according to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. Even the average 10 year old's weight increased 11 pounds in the last 40 years. These statistics have probably increased even more since they were made because obviously the increased percentage keeps going up over time and it has been a couple years since the statistics were taken. This problem is a big situation because it's like a Dore that leads to worse things. It leads to, of course, the physical problems because you're less willing to do things. And you have mental problems like psych psychological distress and emotional issues. Through Senator Kate Lundy's website, it said something like obese individuals also show mental health problems such as low self-esteem, negative body image, and poor socialization ability. Many people resort to anorexia and possibly suicide. People usually get sleep apnea, which is when obese people stop breathing for seconds at a time during sleep. I have some comments. Um. Yeah. Sleep apnea um, isn't just in obese people. I know. Um, and also, I don't think obesity is caused primarily by laziness. I think. I think. All right. Sorry. Okay, uh, I'm going to be talking about child obesity, and so one of the leading epidemics facing America today is child obesity. Childhood obesity is a medical condition that affects children. It is characterized by weight well above the mean for the particular child's height and age, and a body index well above the norm. Over 15% of American children are currently considered obese. The condition can affect a child's future by increasing their chances of having diabetes, heart disease, high cholesterol, and even cancer. 
And aside from the physical problems, an obese child may grow up to face harassment, body image problems, low self-esteem, and even depression. Obese children, however, are never at fault for their condition. The condition is said to be genetic or hereditary. Child obesity can surface in all types of families of all types of social, socioeconomic status. A child is more likely, however, to obtain childhood obesity if they are low on the socioeconomic status, as healthy food is more expensive than fattening food. It is also the responsibility of the parent or guardian to ensure that a child receives enough daily exercise, as overweight adolescents are 70% more likely to become an obese child. It is not hard to understand why children are becoming obese at such an alarming rate due to the exposure that they are surrounded by. 84% of middle schools and 58% of elementary schools allow the sale of soda or other sugar-laden drinks on their school grounds. And because these children, 70% of them, will grow up to be adults, obese adults, with medical problems, creating a new society of sick mutants. And in conclusion, child obesity will continue to prosper if action is not taken while the epidemic is still young. The seriousness of the condition is only beginning to be received coverage by the media and the attention it deserves. Child obesity is one of the few medical conditions that can easily be prevented if everyone just stops and listens. I feel that PE in school is important because otherwise many teenagers or children would not receive enough daily exercise. Thank you. Okay. I'm Alex Bruno, and I'm here to speak about secondhand obesity. The term comes from secondhand smoke, which is breathing in smoke from other, some other cigarette. Now, secondhand obesity is a parent's effect on the child's obesity, because like parents' genetics and the way that parents eat and lifestyle, they buy convenient food, which could be anything around McDonald's, chicken nuggets, um, any fast food industry, basically, and or even just microwavable food. And this is contributing to the problem that uh, obesity, our waistlines are growing every year. Our waistlines have tripled since the 1970s, and it is becoming in our children. And also, parents don't allow their kids too much exercise. They just let them watch TV all day and play video games. And it can create this psychological effect that it's all right to just not go out for maybe 30 minutes a day and get exercise or even just financial situations. The cheaper food is always um, the more unhealthy food. A burger is a dollar at McDonald's, while a salad at Casa Grande is like three. So that creates some problems. But also it brings kids lower self-esteem. So I think, I feel this is a problem because if parents don't recognize this threat, then our kids are gonna have way um, lower self-esteem in life, they're going to have a harder time getting around, more diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and whatnot, and I just feel we should recognize this problem. In conclusion, these are where we can fight these problems. We can drop prices in healthier food, which would make it easier to purchase health, like uh, healthier food to eat, like salads and such. We could also raise prices in bad food because it might create the effect that people won't be able to afford it, so they'll have to be forced to eat healthier food and so their waistlines. And we could also, I think this is the biggest one, is provide healthier choices in school, instead of pizza and egg rolls and all those other greasy foods that we have, and raise price, er, and drop prices in the salads.